School of Scouts, let's face it, I'm no Peter McKinnon when it comes to cinematography. And if you don't know who he is, you should check out his channel, which is called Peter McKinnon, because he is Peter McKinnon. Yeah, he's a good photographer. I don't really know what I'm doing. I like to think that I'm getting better. I mean, I like to think it. I don't know if it's actually true, but I like to think it. I usually shoot with two iPhones. I shoot with an iPhone 8, which is a shoot. This is an iPhone 8 that I'm shooting with right now. And then I shoot with an 11. And I don't use the 11 on my face because the 11 changes my skin tone in a really creepy way. But the 11 is my best choice when I want to shoot landscapes or I want to shoot out the window at the road. At least until now. Now I got a new toy. Well, I've had it a while. I actually showed it to you quite a while ago. I hadn't hooked it up yet, and now I have. So today, I'm going to show you the Landmoto Vast Pro Night Vision dash cam. Maximalist mini bars with Mary and Captain and you. Get on the bus! It seems like I'm never shooting out the window when something really interesting happens. Do you remember last year there was this, I was on the, I think I was in Oklahoma and these puppies, puppies ran across this across busy highway and that would have been such a cool thing to have on camera. Or earlier this year when the truck dropped all that debris that caused me and dozens of other people to blow out their tires. That would have been cool if I'd been actually shooting that at the time. But I have limited time on my iPhone. It, the memory's not that big and I could fill it up in like an hour if I shot continuously, so I don't. So when I saw this Landmoto Vast come up on Indiegogo, I decided to go for it. It's designed to give you great visibility in low light or extreme weather conditions, but it also shoots continuous video. I've never used a dash cam before. This thing says it can shoot for 18 consecutive hours and I thought, whoa. So from now on, anything cool that happens on the road, I'm gonna be able to show it to you. Even at night, because it has night vision. That's why it's called the night vision dash cam. I was really just looking for a way to shoot good video out the window, and what I landed on is a way for us all to drive safer. Day or night, any kind of weather. So here's the device. Here's the camera lens. You can change the angle if you want, and here's the display. It looks and feels like a rear view mirror, basically. So that's a little bit of a confusing thing for me. I I get distracted easily and I have to make sure that I'm actually looking out the window. It comes with a dash mount and a suction window mount. And I'm gonna use the windshield mount because the dash in this bus is so sloped. I think I can get a better shot from the windshield. And this is the cable that you would use normally, to normal people would use to hook it into their system. But Max is 30 years old, so I don't have whatever this hooks into. So I just plug into the cigarette lighter. Max was made in 1991 when the World Wide Web didn't even exist yet. The maker of the World Wide Web was still tinkering. And I'm not talking about Al Gore, it's an English guy. Anyway, eventually I'll bring some solar power up here with a 12 volt extension cord. But for now, I'm using this adapter, which gives me three USB ports and also tells me my battery voltage. This is the micro SD card. If you don't put this in, the camera will record for about 24 hours and then it will start recording over itself. And I definitely paid a little extra to get this, but with this, I can just plug it right into my MacBook. One of the cool things they market about this is how it can watch over your car while it's parked. It doesn't stop running when you park. So let's say somebody keys your car, you're going to have probably video of them. Now there's also a rear view camera that I got as an add-on to this, but I haven't figured out how to set it up yet. I really want to use that little rear view to shoot outside the bus and to see it traveling down the road. I've mounted the phone on an arm before, but that's a little harrowing because I keep waiting for it to fall. I'd really like to make that work because I love seeing the bus traveling, you know, moving on the road. I don't get to see that view very often. And it's sometimes it's really good to see a view that you don't typically get. It's good to kind of back up and see the big picture, you know, like back up and see the big picture, not the mess, but the big picture. You know what I mean? It's hard when you're up close and in something, it's hard to see. So let's take a drive. It's starting to get a little dark. So we'll see what this thing does. Pack my bags, get my goals Just when I was losing hope I saw you standing there on the street And you said, do you wanna go See the world, not go home We can be anything that we dream So it looks pretty good on the screen There's a weird, well I guess that's a reflection from inside the, the bus Like some white reflection so, Probably something on the lens Okay, because 
You don't need to see me. Now I seem to be in night on this camera, but that one, yeah, it's still a pretty bright day. And now we're coming into an area where the road is quite rough. Yeah, what I tell you, the road is quite rough here. Quite rough. Um, there's gonna be a speed bump coming up eventually, which I always find kind of cray cray. If they're bothering to put a speed bump on a road like this, it's already, it, this road is a speed bump, basically. Okay, now all I have to do is pop the mini SD into the computer and drop this footage right into the video. Seven hours ago, I was very naive. That's how long it took me to finish this video. Well, I guess I'm not actually finished since I'm talking to you from inside the video, but let's not get technical because I've had enough of that for one day. First, QuickTime couldn't read the files from the dash cam, so I had to find an app that could convert them. And then I realized there were three videos missing. See, the dash cam saves the footage in three minute clips that connect and they're numbered. So it was easy to see that there were three numbers missing. Then I remembered that if it detects an accident, we'll put videos away in a separate locked file so that they can't be overridden. And sure enough, there's a locked folder with three videos in it. So that means three times during my routine drive around, Land Moto detected a collision. I told you it was a rough road. I have to find a way to get, keep it from bouncing so much. And to be totally honest, the iPhone 11, it shoots better. But all in all, it's gonna be a great addition because it's gonna be shooting all the time. And the editing part will get easier now that I know what's going on, now that I have it dialed in. It babysits your parked car. It saves videos if you wreck your car. It has you covered on a dark and stormy night. It's a good device that has your back and it shoots decent video too all the time. So I would say Land Moto Vast Pro Dash Cam is a win. And that's it. Now we're not gonna miss a thing. Just be patient with me a little bit longer. I know these videos are really spaced out far apart. It's gonna keep being that way for a while, but I'm still here. I swear to God, I'm here. I'm glad you are too. Watch that, okay? Bye.